Hey y'all, it's Mr. Wilsey here, I'm trying to show you how I'm going to do, how y'all are going to do your new project. So, basically, we just finished talking about topographic maps. So, to kind of finish this topic up, I want you guys to create your own landscape and make your own map of that landscape. So, what do I mean when I say that? First of all, I need you guys to make a model of some sort of landform, like a mountain or a couple mountains or something else similar to that, or a volcano maybe. Um, if you have something like Play-Doh or anything like that, any building material around your house and you want to use those, that would work great. Legos, if you have any of those left over or any kind of building material like that. But if you got nothing, you could just like stack some books up and make a landscape out of books or really anything you can stack up um you could stack up shoes you could stack up any kind of toys or objects around your house you're trying to create a landform with some depth i want to keep it simple that way if some of y'all are like i really don't know how to make this then just do what i'm about to do which is i'm going to make a landscape out of clothes everybody's got clothes i just did laundry so i'm going to take some of my shirts I'm going to use them to make kind of an elevated uh, land for me. Tilt this down so you can see what I'm doing. Don't worry about the. Don't worry too much about this being perfect. This is just supposed to be a quick project. So, first thing is, I'm going to make a peak. I'm going to stack up some shirts to make a tall mountain or a tall volcano. So, and again, super simple. Just stack some things up on top of each other, and uh, I'm not sure if I can do that. I might be able to do a little, oh, I did. I did a little um, indent at the top, like the, um, like the crater of the volcano. Now, you can't just stack things up and go, oh, that's my model. I'm going to go ahead and draw a map of that. I would like some variety. So if you'll notice, this is a pretty steep side here. This is a pretty steep side here. In fact, I need to push this in a little bit. Um, and over here, the other side, you have to take my word, is pretty steep. I want not the same shape on every side. So I'm going to add some uh, shirts here, kind of make a gradual slope coming down off of the volcano or mountain or island. So I'm going to layer some shirts out this way just to kind of show that it gradually fades down to the bottom and you can't really see. But Take this and show you from the side. Let's see if I can get that. All right, so you got the peak here with the crater, steep side here, steep side here, and then you've got this gradual flattening side. Now, I would like you, after you've created your model, to then take a picture of it using um, your phone or your the the um, the webcam on your Chromebook. Take a picture from the top and a picture from the side. And I'm going to submit in the lesson pictures of this to give you an example. One from the top and one from the side. You can submit that to me or Ms. Herrera via Google Classroom. But you need a third picture as well. After you've built this landscape, I need you to draw a map of it, which I will do a second video showing you how to draw a map. And then you will take a picture of that map and submit it to us. All right. Tune in for part two.